All right, so today I'm going to show you how to um, insert an image onto Odd Shape so that you can trace it um, if there's something that you want particularly to trace. If you were to draw something and you want to put it on there. So I'm going to go and I research a non copyrighted logo and I'm going to download this um, and make sure that it's a JPEG, J, dot J, uh, PG or a PNG image only. And then um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my on shape and I'm going to uh, create a base for my um, for my logo. So I'm going to go in and just create a, um, a rectangular base and I'm going to dimension it. You know, I'm going to say I want a three by let's see, three by four. Okay, so it's a three by four inches. So now I know how big that is and I'm going to extrude this part. So I'm going to extrude it about, I'm just going to do half an inch to keep it smaller. Okay. And now I'm going to put my logo on top of that. So I'm going to hit accept and I'm going to go back to sketch again and I'm going to draw on the surface. So I'm going to click on the face of extrude one because that's what I just extruded. I'm going to go up to my insert image. It looks like a little mountain with the sun. And I'm going to um, insert my logo. So to import your logo, you just go down to import, um, download logo, and then you just upload that. And then it should let you know when it's successful and done. So I'm just going to grab one of the logos that I have um, imported and I'm going to click on that. And then it says draw image rectangle. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to draw the image rectangle. And I'm going to try to get it to fit on top of this, this thing that I just drew, drew. Okay. I'm going to, and then that's pretty much it. So now I'm, I'm going to um, basically trace around this. So to trace around this, I'm going to use the feature called the spline. And you just literally go around um, the image so i'm just going to click the closer the lines are to each other the more precise your tracing is going to be um it doesn't really have to be exact i mean you know you're just trying to get an idea of what it's going to look like and then when you connect it that's when the line becomes an actual line okay i'm going to trace the inside as well so like i said it doesn't have to be perfect um, you know, if you want it to be, be perfect, you just have to keep your lines smaller. Okay. So that's another circle. And then I'm going to go up and I'm going to probably trace this one right here as well. Okay. And then down, this one's pretty straight and then up. Oops. So I'm going to escape that. Okay. And then I'm going to connect this. So you can hit escape when you want your line to be done. So when you have something like this, you can just hit escape again. I don't know if this is connected or not, but I'm just going to go with it. Okay. And if it's not, just delete it. Um, there's a cut feature up here. You can, you can trim it, you know, you can cut it all out and then you can redo it. So I'm going to pause this and just kind of go through and do this real quick. Okay, so I just did the outline on the outside, so I'm going to do the outline on the inside. So as I am um, tracing the lines here, um, I'm clicking with the um, the left, and then to with the left mouse, and then on my um, if I need to zoom, I just click on the the right click, and then um, Control, and then I can kind of move it where I need to move it as I'm working on this, so I don't kind of lose track. So um, all I'm doing right now is I'm just going around all the lines. Okay. Two. Okay. It's not going to be perfect. Okay. I'm just going to get this done. It's going to be a little bit crooked. Okay. So now I have my two lines right here. So that's perfect. So now I'm going to go around and trace the entire um, body of this logo. Okay, so I got the outline on the outside of the, um, the logo here. So what I'm going to actually do now is I'm actually just going to extrude it as is um, to see how it looks and, um, and kind of go from there. So uh, I'm actually really kind of like the look of this. So um, I'm going to actually extrude to remove just to see if that's um, going to be... So it has to be less than half an inch and just see how it looks. So, meh, I don't know if I really like it going out. So that doesn't look very, 
very good. So I'm actually going to go ahead and trace that and then redo that real quick. So I'm going to go back to sketch two and trace the, I'm going to trace the inside. So I'm going to go and actually do all that and kind of trace all of this. And then I'm going to, um, extrude it to see how it looks. So give me one second. All right, um, everything is um, highlighted. So now let's try extruding and see what happens. Um, I'm going to X that out. I want to extrude this, 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 and that. Okay, and then I'm going to um, add to it instead. Uh, let's see, go the opposite. Well, yes, I'm going to add to it. I'm going to hit accept. Okay, I actually like that a lot better. And that's it. And that's how you can add um, a customized logo to anything. The more, the smaller the line, the more precise your logo is actually going to be. But, um, you know, that's basically how you can turn something 2D into 3D.